the new season four update is here and now the question is what do we all need to know well let's see if we can answer that for you hi my name is hippo tc welcome back to another see if these video if you like this video make sure to hit that like button comment down below and smash that subscribe button i also stream live content over on twitch every week and you can find my schedule in the description below would love to have you stop by and say hi now let's talk season four in see if these instead of a map expansion we get to explore beneath the waves we got a hint of what was to come in season three with the sunken pearl tall tale but now we get to explore the rest of this sunken kingdom and let's be honest this is something we've wanted for a long time and now that it's finally here what does this mean for us well if you dare to seek these new treasures and face off against those scurvy dogs that are the sirens there are two new main areas that we can explore and each of them are a bit different in style First, let's talk about the Siren Treasuries, or basically Siren Forts. These are additional undersea locations that will test our pirate resolve and pit us against a range of enemy threats. We will go up against ocean crawlers, sirens, and coral skeletons. Defeating these scurvy dogs will open the vault to the treasure room, giving us all of this beautiful booty. As I mentioned in a previous video, there's also a cool new mechanic to help keep your treasure safe as you make your way back to your ship, especially considering you left it just sitting there on the surface for a very long time. How this mechanic works is you give it to the siren statue and it will store up to 20 items. Once you get to the surface, you will see a mermaid that will basically release to you all of the stored treasure. And at this point, it will be a mad dash to get the treasure on your ship. There are three Siren Treasuries added throughout the seas. The Treasury of the Sunken Shores in the Shores of Plenty, the Treasury of the Secret Wilds in the Wilds, and last but not least, the Treasury of the Lost Ancients in the Ancient Isles. When they are active, they will shoot out a shimmering light in the sky, letting you know that there's treasure to be had. A really cool feature around these treasuries are they can all be active at the same time, meaning this will make it harder for thieving pirates to, well, thieve. Uh, it'll make it easier for you and make the risk a little bit lower. It's not just going to be one event in the sky and everyone will flock to it. It could be all three active at the same time. So it does open up those doors a little bit for you and makes it a little harder for the thieving pirates. If you're curious where these treasuries are, you can find these on the map table. Now that we've covered these treasuries, let's talk about the other new explorable area, the Siren Shrines. The lore behind these are that the Sirens created them and that these newly uncovered shrines were built with a wicked purpose. Just like the treasuries, these are located on your ship's map and players reaching the marked spots will need to dive deep and swim to reach these new discoverable areas. The difference between the shrines and the treasuries is simply this. The treasuries are more about the treasure and the shrines are more about the lore. Each shrine will pose a challenge to a player's puzzle solving skills as they navigate obstacles to access hidden locations within these sunken structures. Now, though these are more geared towards the lore, that doesn't mean you can't find treasure along the way. Just like before, you can give them to a statue to store them until you are ready to retrieve them at your ship. There are a total of six Siren Shrines, the Shrine of Hungering and the Shrine of the Flooded Embrace in the Wilds, the Shrine of the Ocean's Fortune and Shrine of the Coral Tomb in the Shores of Plenty, and last, the Shrine of Ancient Tears and the Shrine of Tribute in the Ancient Isles. Needless to say, we have a whole lot of freaking exploring to do. Now, all of this new coral treasure can be turned into the corresponding trading company. Very simple, very similar to the ghost ships. You just turn skulls into skulls, etc., etc. Just turn them into the corresponding trading company. With these new locations to explore, we also have new bottle quests that you can find in coral message bottles. These will lead you to one of the many new areas to explore and give you a note that will lead you to some very unique treasure called the Breath of the Sea. There is some very crazy lore behind this, and I will let the famous Captain Falcor cover in depth, but what we do know is that the same power inside of those Siren Gems and Mermaids is in this new potion, and maybe we get to drink this at some point? I don't know, but just be careful with it. You don't know what's in there. It's very bad, and as Stray always likes to say, there's an evil inside or a darkness inside. Also, with this new update, we have more journals to find that will expand the lore of the game. I plan to put together a video showing you the location of all these journals, so keep an eye out for that. Needless to say, it's going to be a lot of fun, as once you find all the journals, you'll head back to Loriana for a Legend of the Sunken Kingdom voyage, offering an enchanted compass and a note leading to the first clue. 
with this new update we see a whole crap ton of sunken kingdom achievements and things we can unlock we got the mystery of the hungering mystery of the flooded embrace mystery of the ocean fortune mystery of the coral tomb mystery of the ancient tears mystery of tribute a whole lot of freaking mystery is in this update you also got the sunken kingdom marauder seeker of the sea and last but not least legend of the sunken kingdom now if all that wasn't enough just like any new season we get new season progression and rewards that come with that including a new plunder pass these new items look amazing and are going to be fun trying to get with this update we also get to see some new ways to earn progression through trials and deeds with weekly trials and monthly trials including daily deeds that have been revamped allowing players short session experiences is what the patch note said so essentially the goal is each of these dailies can be completed in about five to ten minutes making it a lot easier for just your casual pirates to progress through the season and last but not least and i know i've said that a, quite a few times but just like with any update we get a whole crap ton of the pirate emporium that will be releasing some new cosmetics for us to get our pirate hands on the golden Nile ship collection costume weapons and lantern we also see some new emotes for the weapon poses and some emotes that are for the jokers out there including the free drama emote we also see quite a few bug fixes along with this update really rounding this thing off for a solid update for sea of thieves what are you excited to try out first let me know in the comments below and i can't wait to see all of you scurvy explorers out there on the seas uh well i well i guess this is in this case it's gonna be under the sea wait i feel like that's a song under the sea under the sea. Hmm. We'll see you guys out there.